community and city leaders are discussing ways to preserve the St. Julian Divine smokestacks. This just months after it looked like the smokestacks would actually be demolished because of safety concerns. News 2's Riley Benson listened in as leaders discuss what comes next. He joins us with the very latest. Leaders have their eyes on saving the nearly century old smokestacks if possible. Today, leaders got a briefing on the latest condition of the smokestacks to make a decision on the best path forward. Rising 130 feet above downtown Charleston's skyline could be two ticking time bombs if nothing is done. The only thing that's really new is the additional cracking in the liner up at the top. And things have just basically continued to deteriorate. City leaders find themselves at the tail end of the busiest hurricane season on record. Mayor John Tecklenburg says the increased activity should serve warning. Whatever we do, we want to try to uh, get accomplished <clears throat> if at all possible before the next uh, serious part of the hurricane season. After calls from community leaders to preserve the historic stacks, city and community leaders are working together to weigh options moving forward. That if that liner collapses, uh, that it could take out a sidewall of the chimney. And if it does take out one of those sidewalls, we could very well lose the whole chimney. Preservation engineer Craig Bennett says a recent inspection of the north chimney shows removing the inner lining could be the best option, but says it's a risky project. Their, their recommendations first develop an engineering solution to reinforce the interior of the chimney for seismic and wind. City leaders are still reviewing inspection results and findings before making a final decision on the fate of the brick. We're on a bit of a fact finding uh, uh, mission and maybe a fundraising mission as well. Yes, Sophia, the task force plans to further review the findings of the two inspections before scheduling another committee meeting. Reporting in downtown Charleston, Riley Benson. Count on two.